And now we're doing a new tradition called a pumpkin chuck. You get some TP. You, you get, get some, some TP. TP. <laughs> Candace, you brought the life to that vlog. Do you guys think I should get in? Yes. 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 Of course. Yes. <laughs> Happy Halloween, Happy last Halloween. Wish again. What a pair. Yeah, very wow. nice. I'm a cold glass of milk. And I'm a walking taco. Yes, Thanks for are. joining us. <laughs> Keenan, and Alicia, good morning. It is a beautiful morning in Traverse City. We are live on Front Street right now, as you can see. And the mood, you guys, is pretty mixed. It is a beautiful day to get lost in the sunflowers. That's why we're hanging out right here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah thank you for being here. Can we start off? Project One, first time we've been doing this. Yeah. Tell us, what exactly is it? How is it different it's from our class? It's brand new, yeah. Uh, Tony, Tommy, I'm a little worried. You think the student body's awake yet? I don't know, let's check. I think so too. <laughs> <laughs> it is National Bagel Day, and guess what? Fun fact, bagels are not just for breakfast, they are for lunch, they are for dinner, they are for dessert, they are for all of it. Here she goes! Oh, <laughs> yes! Tonight, West Ottawa High School has their home opener against Jenison, and in that home opener, they are hoping to score a lot of touchdowns. <laughs> You gotta go higher than that. <laughs> I gotta go higher. Yeah, you can come out here. You guys come yeah. higher. Yeah. Can I just say, if you guys are looking for something for Valentine's Day, this is gonna make your significant other very happy. Good Sunday morning. Thank you so much for choosing us at Fox 17 Morning News today. I'm Sarah Grimmer, and if you are a fan of sunny days in the 70s, today is going to be a great day for you. We're gonna toss things on over to our meteorologist. Boredom. This whole thing started on a on a lark. It's a spark that can light some pretty creative flames. I was bored on Saturday. Went to my studio, picked up my cameras, came home, sent them a text message, and I said, hey, meet me outside in front of your homes around six o'clock. I'm gonna stroll by with a beer and my camera and take a few pictures. And that was it. For Michigan photographer John Martin, his flame is this portrait series. And it's more like a vibrant wildfire at this point. And I'm like, oh, I'll put these up on my Facebook page. Mm. And then like 24 hours later, it was just everywhere. Toilet paper rolls, drinking wine out of your coffee mug, a somber expression amid a battle to save lives. Each one of these photos depicts a household's quarantine story. It gets them out of the house. It gets them smiling, you know, and it's something to break up the monotony of this experience that we're all sharing. And also, yeah. too, what a cool keepsake from this it, time. Yeah, it really is. And that's, you know, as far as like the documentary aspect of it goes, this is kind of a, I mean, this is a historic event. They're going to, you know, frame these photos and 10, 20, 30 years from now, they'll look back and, hey, remember when we were stuck in our houses for a month? It wasn't that fun? And there'll be a picture hanging above their fireplace. What's even better? I'll donate half of the proceeds to purchase meals from local restaurants where I know are struggling and feed our nurses and doctors at our two local hospitals here. A portrait for a purpose. John's viral photo series serves as proof that quarantine boredom mixed with our individual talents is the perfect recipe to create something great. Take your picture. Wait, I should probably do that. <laughs> there you go. There. You should go out on your porch. 